What's up y'all? Back with another video. As you know, today <laughs> we're in the Cybertruck. Very weird. This is my buddy Louis' Cybertruck. So shout out to him for letting me use it. <laughs> the first thing I just noticed, all I did was pull into the parking spot. <laughs> the steering wheel. Supposedly they're saying like half a turn or a turn is literally a full turn in any normal car. So anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in reverse. If not, um, hang on. All right, so now we're reversing. So weird. The, the steering wheel is so quick. It's literally half a turn and it's fully turned. It's so crazy. First things first, interesting, funny, weird steering wheel. Um, battery percentage right now we're at 41%, so we'll see how this feels. Ooh, you could definitely feel the, the height of this thing. It feels different. <laughs> the height and the, the smoothness and the weirdness of it all in one. I, I don't even know if any of those things make sense together on paper, but it is what it is. I'm going to flip a quick U-turn here. We'll see how this thing's turning radius is. Um, so far, very, very smooth. Uh, a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be just off the initial jump or the rip. The back is closed, so it's kind of weird that you can't see behind you. Um, okay, you turn, wow. It's halfway turned steering wheel and it turns all the way around. That rear wheel steering is insane. We're in chill mode right now. Wow, really smooth pickup and very chill, literally. Um, there's not a lot of drama to this thing. As if you know electric cars, especially Teslas, like the quick ones, there's tons of drama in terms of they're super quick. They're like instant throttle. We'll definitely have to change some of the controls here. Let's see. We'll go sport mode. Whoa, see, there you go. Uh, that's the drama I'm talking about. Super quick. Let's see, we'll find this back alley somewhere over here to do some outside of the vehicle shots. <laughs> this thing is fun. The steering is so crazy because the wheel is the weirdest, oddly most weirdest shaped wheel I've ever seen. I've never seen a steering wheel shaped like this. I can't, it's like half a quarter of a gyro, gyro, whatever, gyro wheel on top, which is like the one that's in the plaids. Uh, sheesh. This thing's pretty fun. Uh, all right, we'll, uh, over up here this thing is spray painted everyone's looking at you like what is wrong with this guy my buddy put f off on the side of it all this funny stuff he literally just got it like three days ago so a little specs on this 318 horse or excuse me 318 miles on a charge zero to 60 i think they're claiming in the three second range which makes sense it's super heavy but shockingly you know i'm not going to get into all the specs anybody can look at the specs online i just really want to talk about the driving experience how it feels obviously some of the looks of it, the literal sharp edges. So um, don't want to talk too crazy about any of the other odd things, I guess, about it. I just kind of want to talk more about, you know, just how it drives and the look of it and not really more necessarily the specs of it. Um, just more so how it feels and like overall in general. Um, very roomy though. Headroom's crazy, I'm six feet tall. Headroom's nice. Um, everything feels really good on it. Um, the quality actually feels a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. The door handles, the side panels, the steering wheel feel. I think the quality feels a lot better actually than I thought. But obviously, granted, you're paying 100K for the foundation series because that's what this is. So, you know, hopefully the quality is good. Um, but yeah, it feels really great, honestly. Um, a lot better than I was suspecting it to feel. Um, We'll pull over up here and get a little walk around video for y'all and then kind of talk about some of the things on the outside, some of the cool features. Um, I'm gonna pull over here to one of these warehouses. Thing looks crazy. Today's video, as you know, the Cybertruck. 
So far, driving impressions, drives really smooth. Obviously that helps with the large tires on this thing. Uh, super large tires, tons of sidewall, very smooth, honestly. Uh, it does have the air suspension, you can raise it, lower it. It kind of has like the smart adjustability aspect of it where you can, it does its own thing based on how you're driving, where you're driving, whatnot. Uh, let's see, here's the back pedal. Like I said, my friend just got it. His little mats are new back there. Oh yeah, what am I doing? See? Should have done a little research on that. Uh, there's a little storage compartment back here. You got your little extra charger. Um, you can plug it into the side. I heard you can charge another car with it. Spray paint there in case you want to spray paint the side of your shit. Um, put the tailgate back up. It is a manual tailgate, but I heard it has soft close, which it does. It sucks it in by itself. <laughs> the graffiti is too funny. But honestly, these edges, so last night, or the other night, we were hanging out, and I put my arm here. I'm not gonna lie, these edges are pretty sharp. And like, people weren't joking about the edges being sharp. I thought kind of like, they were kind of joking, or they were kind of like, eh, the edges aren't too sharp, or they're not too bad, but nah, the edges are pretty damn sharp on this thing. It is the oddest vehicle I've ever seen. Honestly, if you watch the channel, you know I have a Lamborghini. I just bought another car too, which I'll talk about once it gets here. It's coming from New York. It'll be here in, I think, another week. Transport was kind of delayed. That's an old school muscle car, so that's kind of the hint there. But this thing gets so much attention, literally gets more attention than my Lamborghini. And I literally just drove it for five minutes, barely. And you have people recording and doing all this funny stuff. I think the graffiti also helps too. But anyways, back to the truck. The rear window's cool. I like that it, I, I'm curious to see how it looks when it's up because I guess when you put in reverse or whatever the case may be, you have to mainly go into the rear view cam. Um, the, the rear view camera pops up on the screen is what I'm trying to say. You have to mainly do it unless the back is down, then you can clearly see out the back window. Um, yeah, this kind of, the doors open through like this weird touch. Like it's kind of like this, haptic feedback touch kind of button um <clears throat> the back has tons of room my buddy has a dog so he's got his dog always chilling here uh seats go down just like anything else um big back screen here if you want to watch youtube videos um have your own stuff synced up huge huge roof this is the biggest windshield supposedly on any car and also the biggest windshield wiper on any car um yeah, so this is the Cybertruck. Based on my experience with it so far, I don't even know what to feel about it, to be honest with you. I'm not even sure what to say. I just think it looks so weird and so funny and so cool, but then so like not those things at the same time. And that's kind of, I think, was the whole point of the design and doing it that way anyways, was make something so weird like a sketch design that looks like such a concept that it would never happen and then make it happen and make people weirded out by it but yeah these are those edges that i'm talking about that is that is a sharp edge anyways it's getting hot we're in southern california it's already like 82 degrees today it's been the hottest day of the year i think so far we've had this very odd weird start to the year where it's been a lot cooler than expected but anyways we will continue in the truck, and uh, yeah, that was a quick walk around. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is just kind of my experience, not necessarily a crazy review. Like I said, you can read the specs on it, but from my driving experience, from the cars that I've owned, from the things that I've experienced, this is very interesting. One thing that's very interesting is this. I noticed everything's like matte, the door panels and stuff. But I guess that makes sense. Everything has to be matte. The colors only comes in stainless as far as I know. Um, I don't know if there's a matte black version. Some people have said there is. I went on their website, didn't see it last time I checked, so I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to close the back. Um, just want to make sure nothing flies out. Look at this, it's literally all the way turned. This is straight, like that electronic steering. 
Let's try to run over my camera. Oh my God. I don't know if this is a good idea, actually. Probably not the best idea. But, actually we could probably run it over um, without damaging anything. It's an expensive camera, so. Uh, all right, let's see. Woo, made it. Rear view camera setup, see when you put your foot on the brake. Got the rear view camera set up there. Then you have the side cameras that are underneath those weird looking side mirrors, which I think actually look kind of cool. Um, yeah. It's interesting because you have, you can't see it here. It's hard to see, but you can actually hit, oh, you can see it. You can actually hit the drive, stop, start, and all that stuff up here, which I think is super cool. So you can quickly just go boom, we're in drive now, baby. So I thought that was a cool feature. Um, obviously standard display in terms of the standard big iPad kind of display. You can swipe to go back and forth. Um, this is that weird steering wheel setup. So interesting. Half a steering wheel turn signals on the stock here. Your volume up, volume down button. It's nice that they put the horn back where it normally should be. That's cool. Okay, my buddies are saying to spray paint the side of the car. Um, you know what? I'm going to spray paint this thing, actually. And I give it back to him to see if he notices. I'm going to spray paint my name on it somewhere. Get up. This is literally one of those weird ones. Uh, what are we gonna write? Ah, come on, shake this thing up. Ah, it's flying everywhere. You can tell I have never done graffiti in my life. <laughs> this is too funny. Anyways, that's a quick drive, quick review of the Cybertruck. Um, yeah. Is it worth 100000 I mean, for the coolness of it and the weirdness of it and the oddness of it and being able to kind of do a lot of things with it, um, yeah, sure, it could be worth 100000 depending on if you just want to spend money to suspend it, maybe, sure. But coolness, yeah, for sure. Would I ever get one? I don't know. Um, I like kind of, I have my one electric car, which I haven't done a review on yet. I have a Polestar. And obviously a couple of my gas cars, my sports cars that I have. But if I was to get this as the only car that was a commuter car or something, and just a car that's funny and funny to fuck around with and a commuter, uh, everyone's looking at the Cybertruck spray painted. It's so funny. But funny to fuck around with, and as a commuter, this is definitely a funny fuck around commuter car. It just throws people off. I really think the graffiti is just the funniest thing ever, actually. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, overall, should you buy, yes or no? Yes, if you want one car that kind of does everything and it's fun to drive and you have a good charging network around you or you can charge at home, yeah, for sure. No, if that's not the case and you want maybe multiple cars or whatever. Um, and you're not an electric car guy, and this is obviously a very acquired taste when it comes to design and weirdness and practicality. I don't even know if that's a thing with this. It could be. It's so big, it's hard to park. I don't know. It's easy to turn and stuff, but I'm saying it's big. It's hard to park. It's very wide. So it's mixed review all across the board. But the best thing about this is it's so damn big, and you can just go fucking uh, crazy with that. So that's fun. But anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one and see ya.